Hey, good afternoon, folks. It's Steve KF5J with Hope everyone's doing okay out there today. Today, I'm going to do a video on speech processor operation and a general overview on the 991A. And basically, what I'm going to show you is how I configure my speech processor, and I'm going to also give you some audio demos so you can kind of hear the various uh, settings and so forth. So basically, we'll go through the speech processor. This may not be 100% correct, but I'm going to show you how I've been doing it for about a year now, and it works pretty good. So I'm just going to just show you what I do, and if it's something you might be able to use, that would be great. Uh, and maybe there's some feedback, too, that could help me. So I want to talk about the microphone, uh, distortion, operation mode, speech processor, uh, parametric equalizer, microphone gain, and speech compressor. <clears throat> and lastly, the dummy load. This is the factory microphone on the FT991A. It's an M Mic Hotel 31 Alpha 8 Juliet. Uh, if you have this stock microphone, my experience is I find setting number one does a real good job for single sideband. And I also have a video that I'll put in the uh, in the in the link of this uh, email, so that if you want to go back and listen to the comparison. Currently, I use an M100 microphone. Uh, I use this for sideband and FM. One of the tips I'll tell you is they have a uh, piece right here called a crowling. It's this little guy right here. And what you can do with that is you can actually go through and you can uh, literally just... Yeah. Let me show you here. Yeah, this is the crowling right here. What, what you can do is this is where you place it right here on, on, on the microphone. And I use this for single sideband. And these are my settings here. I have the condenser on, the dynamic on, and I also have the low cut filter on. On the FM microphone, I do not use the treble or cowling, uh, cowling device. I use an open like this, and I only run the condenser and the the dynamic mic. So uh, this is the microphone that I use and I'll tell you this thing really does a good job for sideband. Real quick distortion. Essentially the purpose here is I want to kind of go through and show you like I said how I do it. The ideal here is we want to be distortion free. Uh, we don't want to have any splatter or, or overdriving on any of our HF and FM signals and uh, we just want a nice good clean audio. This here shows you just kind of a example of a splatter where you might see uh, someone turns up the gain or uh, runs a microphone real hot. Uh, they're broadcasting over many frequencies. This is a clean one here. Most of you are, already know this, but this is just a quick review. The common HF modes used on the 991 air upper sideband and lower sideband. Essentially, the, uh, the typical width is 1.1 to 3 kilohertz. The average band width is about 2.7. There's another thing called the transmit band pass that I'll show you that you can actually adjust your band pass uh, quality of your audio uh, from various, they have four different settings and I'll show you uh, each one of them and the one I use which is 100 to 3000. Amplitude modulation, not used too much. I don't experience this pretty much any in any of my ham experience. So mainly this is CB and stuff. Speech processor, essentially there's uh, two combinations. You can run the speech processor with the equalizer or the parametric equalizer, or you can just run the equalizer by itself without the speech processor. Essentially what the speech processor does is it, it compresses your, your voice peaks, and the ideal is to provide an overall higher average uh, voice peaks, which in results in peak-to-peak -peak applications with sideband means more power, more average power. And that's the key right there is average power. This kind of gives you uh, an idea of, of at least, you know, kind of what I see on it. You see this here, and then of course you have this one here with the uh, speech processor turned on. All right, the 991A, there's two separate parametric equalizers. Uh, one of them is designed to work without the speech processor, and that's called the PRMTRC. The second processor or the uh, equalizer is designed to work with the speech processor. So essentially, you have two separate settings of equalizers. You have one for non-speech processor and one for speech processor. All right, we're going to go ahead and do some audio tests, so I will stop this video and we'll switch over to the radio. All right, folks, now we have the, uh, the radio on. I have, I'm going to turn off the speech processor and the microphone equalizer. 
Okay, right now I only have the mic gain on, set to 25, speech processor is off, parametric equalizer is off. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. In this configuration here, I have the parametric equalizer on, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. And these are the settings here under the menu setup, and I'll go over those in a little bit. But right now, I'm running the microphone equalizer only with a mic gain of 25, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. Next slide, I'm going to turn on the speech processor. Okay, now I have the speech processor on. I'm also running the speech processor at a, at a level of 30. So you can notice the difference with the speech processor on. There's much more rich acoustics, and that's part of that compression that I was talking about. It actually allows you to get out through signals and, uh, and, and get on the air and, and get through pileups. One note on these tests, I'm running 85 watts into a dummy load, so that's uh, critical to the setup. Speech processor is off. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Speech processor is off. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Speech processor is on. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. KI5, JUF, calling CQ, CQ, 10 meter. Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ CQ. Now I've got the processor off. I'm going to do the same example. Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ CQ 10 meter. Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ CQ 10 meter. Okay, now the setting I'm going to show you is the transmit bandpass right now. With the speech processor on, I currently have my setting at 103,000. I'm going to change it to 400 and 2600 so you can hear the difference. Okay, now I'm at uh, 400 and 2600. It's much more narrower. Not as rich in acoustics, but I'm going to switch back to 103,000. Okay, now I'm back at 103,000. So you can tell this is the acoustic. This is what I sound like. This is how I'm coming across on the air. And this band pass here essentially makes it a little bit wider, which gives you more rich quality voice. This just shows you an example here of the band pass. For example, this is two meter. So you're using about, about three, three kilohertz band pass. Okay, we'll stop the video and uh, we will go back and review uh, and wrap up the video and then we'll do a live demo with the radio. Okay, we're back, uh, back uh, off the radio now. So just, uh, this is a quick overview. Uh, again, there are two separate parametric equalizers. One is designed to work with the speech processor, which is denoted with the PAPA in front of it. And these are the settings here. These are the actual settings that you see right here. That's what I'm using today on the demo. So if you like what you see, you can go in and set your settings up exactly like I have it here. Uh, this one's for the non-speech processor. This one's for the speech processor. So that gives you something to go work on. Real quick overview, this is my understanding and this is the way I did my testing today in the video just so people can kind of have a baseline. There are some settings that are important with the ALC and I'll go over those. I'll probably need to do those in front of the radio where you normally in the ALC, which is the automatic limiting control, you normally do not want that going into the red because what happens is then the radio is actually throttling back some of your modulation and that's not what we want. But for simplicity, uh, I use an M100 with a mic gain of 25, a speech processor of 30, and I use the parametric equalizer, and I'm running 85 watts on all of these tests. 
and I'm running it into an MFJ267 dummy load. So this provides me, uh, and one thing that's important is they talk about uh, setting up your acoustics. It's good to go into a 50 ohm dummy load from an impedance matching standpoint uh, because they were saying that sometimes unbalanced feed lines and high SWRs or, or uh, uh, things like that can also affect some of your ALC activity. So they recommend using a, uh, a consistent, fully resistive uh, 50 ohm dummy load. This here, these are the settings real quick. Mic gains at 25. The processor is on. The, this, I have it 30, 35 here, but I actually have the speech processor set to 30. So I'll show all of these uh, in the uh, radio demo, but this is just to kind of give you a quick overview. And what you can do here is put your meter down here, and then you can toggle between compressor and ALC. And right here you'll see this one is ALC and this one is compressor over here. And when you press this meter button here, it, it'll toggle these through uh, the various power, SWR, and so forth. And, the, and you'll see these actually change. Lastly, use a dummy load. The dummy load is designed to, again, provide a fully resistive load, uh, which is uh, what we want. Uh, we don't want any reactants or things, strange things going on our transmission line. Uh, we love nice, clean, fully resistive 50 ohm loads and antennas and feed lines. So um, anyway, that's the video. I will do another video in front of the radio, but this is to give you something to kind of think about. Um, if you want to play around with the speech processor, the 991A has some really amazing features and I think a lot of folks buy them and, and they just don't know that it has all this cool stuff with sideband and uh, my ideal here is just to share it and generate some interest. So uh, I hope this helps. Uh, let me know back in the comments or email me if you have any questions or comments, anything that you don't see that may not be correct here, uh, please let me know. I'd love to learn and, and expand my knowledge. Okay, 73 guys, and thanks again for watching from KI5JUF.